Myself, Redina Pallu from the School of Life Sciences, University of Hyderabad. I have been working in the area of eicosanoids, inflammation and cancer for more than three decades. This review presents an overview on the discovery and development of anti-inflammatory drugs. Should the focus be on synthesis or degradation of prostaglandin E2? The authors include Gopa Mahesh, Anil Kumar Kotha, both are postdocs and myself. Let me share the first figure. As you can see, the prostaglandin E2 is the major mediator of inflammation. The inhibition by the non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which are in the market or the COX-2 specific drugs in the market not only inhibit prostaglandin E2, but also inhibit other prostanoids which are cytoprotective in nature. And as a result, you see the gastric and renal side effects and even cardiac side effects. So the focus now should be either on synthesis of prostaglandin E2 or degradation of prostaglandin E2 in order to avoid the side effects that are associated with these drugs. Let me share another figure. In addition to the prostaglandin pathway, the lipoxygenase pathway also produces leukotrienes, which are major mediators of uh, inflammation also. And as a result, the focus is on developing cox lox dual inhibitors. This review will focus on three important aspects. One, what are the mechanisms behind the side effects that are associated with non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and the COX-2 specific inhibitors? Whether the focus should be on upstream of the formation of the prostaglandins and leukotrienes or the downstream pathways that are involved in degradation and metabolism of uh, this prostaglandins and leukotrienes. The review also focuses on various drug targets that are being explored and at various stages of development. Hopefully in the years to come, there may be anti-inflammatory drugs without uh, the gastric, renal, and cardiac side effects. Thank you.